How's it going guys? This is my Ford Mustang Mach-E and here's five reasons why you shouldn't buy one. Reason number one is charging the Mach-E. Now at home, it's super easy. You literally just get home, you plug it in, and you're good to go. But now for road trips, that's where things get complicated. So I've taken this car on a couple road trips. I live in like central Florida and I've taken it down to Miami. I've taken it out to the West Coast to uh, St. Pete and Tampa. And let me tell you, it is stressful and it is miserable. Um, one time, actually when I went to uh, Clearwater Beach, um, I had to stop at a Dunkin' Donuts and I had to be there, I think it was like two hours because there was people charging and I think there was only two chargers. One of them wasn't working. It was a mess. Um, super stressful, would not recommend it. The other time going down to uh, Miami, I had to stop in West Palm, which is kind of halfway. And uh, that was super stressful as well. So definitely do not recommend it for going on road trips. Reason number two you should not get a Mach-E is because it doesn't have that V8 soundtrack. So this is an EV, it is dead silent. Now you can pipe some noise into the cabin um, with some features on the screen that you can actually turn on the, uh, the, the propulsion sound is what they call it. But if you wanna act a fool, if you wanna get loud, if you wanna get rowdy and you're looking for that V8, then it doesn't exist. Like this is a super quiet car, but really, when you're tired and you're commuting and you just want to go back and forth in silence and just relax, it's beautiful. Now, the third reason you don't want to get a Mach-E is because of the clearance. And if you care about clearance, you might as well get a normal Mustang because you're going to get the same amount of clearance. So this car has, believe it or not, this, this is an SUV. Um, it has 5.7 inches of ground clearance in the front. This is a super low car, and this isn't even the GT model. Uh, but anyway, sorry about the mess here with, with the garage. But um, yeah, this car has terrible clearance. Um, it literally has the same clearance as a regular Mustang sports car, uh, which is insane because you would think, you know, it would have better clearance being an SUV. So you're not going to be doing any, uh, any rock crawling or any off-roading in this car, at least if you need uh, clearance for it because yeah, on the sides here, you can see a little bit more clearance, but on the front, it is pretty dang low. And if you got, you gotta be careful too with the, with the little uh, parking uh, concrete hump things, cause you will rip off the bumper. On the plus side, this has all the sensors and technology that you'll need. And it actually alerts you once you're coming up closer to the, uh, to the curb. So hopefully no Maki owners have ripped off their front bumper yet. If they have, they probably turned off all their sensors or whatever because yeah those are super helpful the fourth reason you should not get a maki -E is the range now this is the standard range maki -E, and they get about uh, 240 miles for a full charge and if you need anything more than that if you're doing these crazy commutes or road tripping a lot definitely do not get a maki -E. get the lucid air i think it has like uh, 516 miles of range uh per charge or something ridiculous like that uh look into one of those but they're also like over 100 grand um but i've never had an issue with uh charging and range uh, i've gotten pretty close sometimes but for your standard commute it's perfect you don't need more than 240 miles number five and i think this is the top reason somebody should not buy a maki -E, and that is the killer of the maki -E, depreciation this car in less than two years of ownership has depreciated over 50%, which is insane to think. It is a beautiful car. I don't plan on selling it anytime soon because that depreciation hit, oh my God, I'm gonna just extend that out a little bit more. But depreciation on these cars, if you haven't seen it already, is absolutely insane. So if you're buying it new, just make sure you're aware that this thing is gonna tank. Now you can probably get one used and have someone else take the depreciation hit and that might be a smart move but new yes you get the tax credit but it is gonna is it's gonna drop it like it's hot it's gonna tank there you guys have it those are five reasons why you should not buy a maki -E. let me know in the comments below i'm sure you guys have tons of other reasons why this car should not be bought anyways i bought one anyways i think it's amazing 
But yeah, there are some good reasons to not buy it. Uh, let me know what you guys think and let me know in the comments below if you think there are some good reasons that you should get a Mustang model.